Mm. We're going down to Johns's today. Johns's, yeah, I don't I th- know. I think the um, the tourist people now and all of the people visiting the area will call it Johns. Mm. Um, their Johns. The the old regulars call it always call it Johns's. And he's and he's Johnsy. And I'm Johnsy. Well, back in them days, of course, I mean, uh, you would have the um, the farm labourers and they would be living in a tied cottage because the farmer um, would have three or four men working for him. Uh, not like today, it's all machinery. Back then it was all manpower. And um, so th- these people that lived in the countryside uh, around... Um, uh, Eastley, Wesley, Holmacott, um, uh, top of Framington and Horwood, etc. You would have all these cottages that would belong to the nearby farm, and uh, so the families would be in there, and so they were the people that we were calling on because they wouldn't have had transport; they would have to walk to town uh, to get their groceries. So they were very, very glad of our service. Uh, as a mobile shop we would call on uh, everybody in the area once a week and um, oh we we had we had hundreds of customers it was amazing every day the van was out uh, just um, stopping outside people's gates and they would come out and look in the back I can remember the doors had opened the little canopy would uh, come across the top if it was raining or getting underneath made a lot of good friends like that as well and um, you used to go into the farm itself and there you would get a nice big order from the farmer's wife or whatever um, and then they would give you a nice big meat order which you would take back and it'd be processed and delivered the next day in the um, the follow-up vehicle so um, uh, it was uh, a good service my father had a beach kiosk which i tell you this was or uh, operating right back uh, from uh, about the uh, early 40s maybe we had a beach kiosk which is we still own at the top of the slipway and uh, that was our responsibility of my brother Christopher and myself to to run this and uh, I can remember of a Wednesday afternoon a uh, half day in Barnstable uh, the train would uh, leave Barnstable and stop at Instow, picking up passengers and come to the beach for the day. Uh, and then at the same time, a train would uh, meet at Instow from Biddyford uh, with another load of people. The passengers that used to come off of that train, hundreds, hundreds. We used to have 500 deck chairs on the top of the beachhead and every uh, Wednesday and Saturday and Sunday, Wednesday being our day to all the businesses and factories, everybody had a day or half a day. And if the weather was right, all those deck chairs would go out, hired, uh, that we would let them out for a shilling. And when they brought them back, they would get three pence refund. Now, it was always a great day when all the deck chairs used to go out used to hire them all out and if it was a fine day dribs and drabs they would all come back and collect their three peas but i always remember the good days when all of a sudden you see a great big black cloud above and they would all des- all come off the beach like flies and all want to get off the beach before the rain come down and they would leave all their deck chairs behind on the beach well that was our um, bit of bonus that was because we used to keep the deposits and uh, didn't tell father that uh, we had refunded it so we put it in our own pockets we still get a lot of benefit though from the from the train line now because again how it's changed now they've taken all the tracks up and it's now a recreational thing Mm -hmm. So back in Dad's day, he was saying that everybody would come on the trains on a Wednesday afternoon or a weekend. Well, now they all use their bicycles and come on that instead. You see the uh, bikes down there on a Sunday or a Yeah, on there a might weekday, be you, 300 you bicycles instead, all, and they've all, all cycled out now. All cycled along. So that see track things. is still very much in use. Everybody um, you know, benefits from these things still over the years. It hasn't gone. It hasn't disappeared. It's just being used in a, in a different format.